All right, everyone, this is Tim with the Online Big Blue. We're bringing you the best in New York Jack Sports Talk Entertainment. It's a rare on video, on camera video. Um, because I, this is not live stream, this is a video. I wanted to talk about mock drafts. And I want to talk about the mock draft programs or or the mock draft simulators that everyone seems to love and, and enjoy using. I'm going to review two of them real quick because I think it's way too early to do mock drafts. I, I love ones that I see like on Twitter when people are like, the Giants are trading this pick and this pick and they're getting this pick. Wow, that's some great speculation considering we haven't even been through the combines and we haven't even been through, well, I don't know, pro days. All right, you know, I, I think some people, I you know, like I say, they're fun to do. They're exciting. They 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 make you think. They make you want to go. Mm. But the problem is, how realistic are they? And how realistic are these these mock draft programs? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my screen over here, and I'm going to click over here, and I'm going to share. I'm going to share something here. First one we're going to take a look at briefly is going to be my favorite. It's Pro Football Focus. It's the Pro Football Focus mock draft simulator. And also, we're going to do the mock draft simulator by the Draft Network. And I find this interesting because, you know, you can do all seven. This is kind of cool because you can do all seven rounds. You can go through it all. We're only going to do the first round. We're going to set it down to super slow speed. And it's great because, like I said, you get to pick your team. I don't know if trades are available or whatever you're going to do, but you're going to pick your team. I'm just curious about how realistic these things come out to be. So we're going to pick the G-Men like we always do. And we're going to enter the draft. How many simulate how many teams to pick? I'm going to pick just this one. Okay. And we're going to enter the draft. So now we have the Jacksonville Jaguars on the clock and the Jaguars, they'll show you. It's actually pretty cool because they will show you how many picks that they have. They have the first, the 32nd, the 65th, and they show the Giants with the 5th, the 7th, 37th, 69th, 79th, 108, excuse me, 109, 146, 171, 183. All right. I like it. So, and, and it actually is kind of cool because it shows you what these teams need. So let's start the draft. Dun, 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 dun. And first on the clock is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Here we go. Start the draft. And here we go. Do, 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 do. Well, the Jacksonville Jaguars already took Hutchinson's. There was, there was no waiting. There was no delay. This goes actually pretty quick here. So let's see. Uh, I'm the Jaguars. I need a wide receiver. I need a tight end. I need no line. I need defensive end. I need a um, linebacker and I need a defensive back. Do I take Aiden Hutchinson? Um, I actually probably would if I were the Jaguars. So let's see what is on here. We can click on here. Oh, they give you a little, they give you a little retrospective of the player. I guess you have to buy the subscription to see. So you see exactly what he does. You see his overall rating. You see his stats. That's actually pretty cool. And let's see the Lions jump up and say Kyle Hamilton out of Notre Dame. See this? I'm already, I'm already having a problem with this. I don't think the Lions would take Kyle Hamilton. They need a quarterback. They need a wide receiver. They need linebackers. They need all these fun little things. I don't think I don't think they would take a safety. Out of all the holes that the Lions had, a safety to me is not on their priority list. So that's going to be the first one that I would say was questionable at best. And then you also have, let's see here, Evan Neal going to the Texans. <laughs> I, I love that they listed as every position. Yeah, I can see them in every position needed. Uh, I, the edge, you know what? I, I can see that I, you know what? It's, I'm not actually not having a problem right now with every pick, but the, the, uh, Kyle Hamilton go to Notre Dame. I don't have a problem with it right now. I don't have a problem with the Jets pick. I don't have a problem with the, I don't have a problem with the Texans. I don't have a problem with Hutchinson. And now you get over to the Giants. Giants are on the clock with the fifth round and they actually give you a trade analyst. This is pretty cool. Now let's see here. They, they select a team that you could trade to. You can make an offer. You could force a trade. And there's nine different there's nine different trades. So let's see here. You could trade for the 13th pick to Baltimore. Yeah, see, I don't think the Giants would get this many trade offers. I, I don't think they would. So let's let's just pick the, let's just out of curiosity, let's pick the Denver trade. I assume the Cleveland trade. Yeah, see, I don't think I I'm not I'm not feeling I'm not feeling the trade logic. Right now, I'm not feeling it because then it's like, okay, they're going to trade you the 13th pick and then you got to pick what else you want to trade. And let's say we want the 45th pick for the fifth pick. And then you could offer the trade. I, I don't, I don't like this trade. I don't like the trade logic of the system. Of course, it's pro football focus. I don't like anything the pro football focus does. So let's go to the Giants. Let's select and draft a player. The Giants, of course, are going to need a guard, a center, an edge, and a linebacker. I'm not going to take Malik Willis because I'm curious. So, you know, I've talked about it before. I would probably grab Devin Lloyd with that pick. So we're going to draft Devin Lloyd. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. 
And now the Panthers are on the clock. And the Panthers go with Stingley. Stingley, to me, is a good player. I know he's rising up on draft boards. But if you're going by the logic of what teams need, and Carolina does need – they need offensive help. They need a quarterback that do need – they do need offensive line help. Again, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling – Going that, I mean, I would take probably, I would probably take Wilson out of Ohio State, but I'm I'm not feeling their trade logic. Again, I'm not feeling the trade logic. And then the Giants are back on the clock. Do, 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 do. See, this is interesting because I would probably trade back. Could I trade back? Let's see here. Let's see what the trade off is all. The Jets want to come back at 10. Uh, I'm not, I'm not feeling that. I would let's see, let's see if I can go to the Browns and take the 13th and the 45th for the fifth. And also let's throw in a later round pick. See what the uh, see what the trade offer is. See what the trade offer is. Make the making the trade. So I click on trade offer. Cleveland training. Yeah. Oh, I was not accepted. Screw you, Cleveland. All right, let's see if I take out that and offer you the seventh. See, I think Cleveland, if they wanted to move up, would, would have offered that pick. See, I, I don't, again, I'm not enjoying, I don't enjoy the trade logic here because it doesn't make sense. I think Cleveland would have, if Cleveland really wanted to move up, I think they would have given that pick. But let's look at one other trade here. Now, see, I wouldn't go to Miami to the 29th. And if a quarterback hungry team was out there, I think they would have traded up for the Giants. So we're not going to take Malik Willis. Don't be shocked. We're not taking Malik Willis. We are going to take, and I am going to take, I'm going to take the Linda bomb. I've said this before. We're, we're drafting the Linda bomb. So let's see. Let's see if Malik goes anywhere here. Do, do, do. I wouldn't have taken George from Purdue. I think that guy's highly over it. Matt Carroll going first. Now I'm at cross. I could see cross going there. Kenny Pickett going to Pittsburgh, uh, going to Washington. I could see that. Uh, you know, like I said, London, Drake London going again. Yeah, because they do need a wide receiver. I mean, the the logic so far, I don't think Garrett Wilson. No, you're not going to take Garrett Wilson to uh, Philadelphia. I'm not sure how the logic is working here. I, I'm not really sure what the thought process is. Because the fact that you have quarterback hungry teams, they take Sam. I don't think Sam Malik Willis. Is, I know Malik Willis is going over Sam Howell. Let's see the Raiders. Raiders are going to need a wide receiver. That's the, yeah, they do need a wide receiver. They, uh, they need more of an interior defensive lineman. So I don't, I'm not agreeing with that. I could see green going to the Cowboys. I could see booth. I could see booth going to the, uh, I could see him going to Titans. Let's just, we're just running out the clock here. We're running out the first round. Cause I'm just curious to see how this works. Cause I, I'm already not liking this pro football focus one. I don't like it at all. And it's not the fact that the, the Malik Willis has not been picked. So let's see. We got Devin Lloyd and Tyler Linda Baum. We're going to show the full results and see if we're, see if what Devs Riddler is going to go over Malik Willis. To, I'm not buying. See, again, like I said, there's no logical value in this. So we're going to keep this one open and we're going to drop, jump over to the NFL mock draft simulator. We're going to close out this commercial. <laughs> and this is done by the Pro Football Network. So let's see here. We're going to select one round. And can I select the team? I can select. The, I'm going to select the Giants. Going to go slow speed here. We're going to we're going to clear that out, and then we're going to go into the draft. Now, again, this is from ProFootballNetwork.com. So let's see how this one does. We're going to let the draft begin. Dun 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 dun. dun. So we got the Jaguars taking O'Neal. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I can see the. All right, right now this is actually, I, I think, in some ways more logical. Because I, I actually kind of agree with the first four picks. I can definitely see Kyle Hamilton going to the Jets after after everything that had with the safety we shall not name who went to Seattle. Is that there everything went without fiasco? I could see Hutchinson going to the Texans. I could see that. I could see all those things. Now let's see here. Now we got trades. I like this because the trades come up. You have two offers, the Giants going fifth or the Falcons to eighth. And then you also have the Cardinals giving a plethora. Now, see, this is, this was, I can't, I'm curious. I would never dra draft back to 23rd. I, like I said, I would try to keep it in the teens, but this would be crazy. This would be crazy to turn down 23rd, 55th, 82nd, second, and the second round of like next year. And said, I don't, I mean, I don't understand why. I don't understand that. I do not understand the logical value of that. 
So we're gonna we're gonna stay away. We're gonna stay away from that. So I, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna can I accept the trade? Do I want to accept the trade? Let me see. I gotta close this out so I can accept the trade. So I'm gonna accept the trade. We accepted the trade. So what happened there? Uh, again, I can't see George going that high, but that's okay. And I can't see Booth going to the the Panthers. And the, oh, we got the music coming rolling here. Why? Because of the fact that I was recording this for the audio purposes as well. And then we got two other we got other picks and other things. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take any of those picks. Not gonna take any of those picks. We're gonna decline all these picks. No, thank you. Oh, my trade was accepted. Well, that was a mistake. I didn't mean the trade. They accepted that one. <laughs> Evidently, I made a trade and didn't even know it. I'm not liking the continuity of this one. To be perfectly honest, I'm not back to the same. I'm not liking the continuity here. I had to move it around here. So the Chargers went up and they took, uh, and they took Lee. I mean, I don't understand that one either. We're going to reject all these trades because the Giants want to make, the Giants want to draft someone at eight. Who are we going to take at eight? Again, I'm not going to take Malik Willis because I want to see where Malik Willis ends up. We're going to just grab Dean. I like kind of like this because they show you some things about the players. All right, if you click on that. Yeah, so let's reject that. So let's just take Dean. I think the Giants may go that way. And let's see here. You go down. Where are we picking again? We're not. We're picking to the 17th. So let's see where we go here. Again, I'm not seeing Matt Carroll going above Malik Willis, especially after everything that's been going on. And I've run this simulator a couple times already, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing it, guys. This may be fun, but it's not realistic. I might as well just, I might as well just draft simulate Madden. But this one, I will tell you, the logic for this one gives you more. Um, there's, there's, there seems to be more logic and continuity in their trades and some of the players that's picking in reference to what teams need. So we're gonna, we're gonna accept this trade here from Buffalo. We're gonna accept the trade from Buffalo. We're gonna keep trade. We're gonna keep trading down to see how far Malik Willis falls down. Because you know we all want Malik Willis. We all know we want Malik. And now I've dropped down. I don't even know how far. I've dropped down the twenty fifth. I can see Hill going to the Eagles. I can't see. I can't. I can see a quarterback going, but I can't see Sam Howell going there. I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, actually, I could see that. For I could see Linderbaum dropping down the twenty third. Probably is more respectable for what he is. Then you got another trade again. Wow, there's a lot of trades that come up. This doesn't happen in the NFL. So we're going to reject that trade. We're again, we are not going to take Malik Willis because we are just curious to see where, where Malik Willis is on this list. And also, I like that you can search by players. We're going to take, we're going to take David out of Michigan because everyone loves David besides me. I thought that I don't love him. Just I think he's going to be raw. So let's, we're going to keep tracking down here on the trade thing. Again, I'm not seeing the logic in some of this. I'm really not. Johnson, I can kind of see going to the Packers. I can see Walker. And I can't see Walker going. I can't see him going the, that low. I mean, I can see him going that low, but I can't see him going to Miami. And then looks like no one took Malik Willis. <laughs> Nobody took Malik Willis. Let's take a look at the full results. And out of curiosity's sake, so we got Neil. So let's see, we got the three. How far off are we from the first three? It's interesting that you have the same four players going in the top four, but different situations. And again, I think that's off of ratings. I think that's off of these their sites ratings. I don't know, guys. Like I said, I know these things look like they can be fun. It looks like you can have a good time with them. I'm going to remove that out of there. But I, I just, I just don't see it. I mean, it looks like it's a good time. I mean, we're going to do a mock draft. We're going to do a fun draft. We'll probably have different people picking people. But I, I'm telling you right now, it looks like that these two sites just basically run off. Yeah, basically, they do. They just run off what their player valuation is. And I don't see it being updated too much and too recently because I wait and I, I've run this draft like four or five times in each and kind of coming up, like I said, the same four players, but in three different spots. The problem is, yeah, you got the four, you can take your four top rated players and you're just, and they're kind of just the logic seems the AI's logic just kind of seems to be plugging into the four spots. I don't agree with that. And it just seems to be random in some ways where the top four players are going. I don't know, guys. I will do a mock draft. I will do one mock draft. <laughs> but I will do a mock draft when we get into the mock drafts. Not now. <laughs> when we get into like a week before the draft, then I will do a mock draft. But I can't see you doing it this way. Got a big stream coming up, of course, on Saturday. Uh, Saturday. Tuesday with the Dahmer. 
4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll talk about the Giants. We'll talk about whoever the defense coordinator is probably going to be hired by them. We hope. We're going to talk about cutting some people. We're going to talk about the draft. We're going. We're just going to talk about anything under the sun. That is always New York Football Giants. We're getting also ready for the Super Bowl. OBJ against Eli Apple. And again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk entertainment. And as always, if you could like, subscribe, bring the play through what it means. The-